Welcome to Fanatical Side Rider. I wanted to make a video about these Strapino ratchet straps, wheel chocks for your ATV and side-by-sides so you can strap down your rides to your trailer. I made a video on my other channel, Getting It Done North of Seven, and I haven't made a video on this channel about them. I wanted to use them for like three months. I've had them three months and I've used them about four or five times and I wanted to show you what I like about them. Now before this, I had the Ericsson wheel chocks and strap system, and they're fine. But I'm gonna tell you the difference between the Ericsson and the Strapino in a minute here, but uh, I'm gonna show you these wheel straps really quick. I've been using Ericsson wheel chocks and straps for a couple of years now, and Strapino reached out to me. They wanted to send me a set of these to try out. I said, well, I got four tires, so send me two pairs, two sets, and they did. and I tr like I said, I'm trying them out. I'm at my fourth or fifth try now, and I'm really liking them. And I want to show you why. What I like about these straps the most is they are retractable. Look how easily that lets go. I can strap up my side-by-side -side really quick and unstrap it too. It's very simple to use. So I just loosened it, and I'm going to unhook the buckle that's down in the wheel chalk. Watch this. I just hold on to the ratchet strap part and it just retracts back into the roll, nice and neat. And I can undo the bottom one. The buckle's undone, that's good. You just pull up on your ratchet strap, here your handle, you lock it in place and you're able to put it away, just like that, that quick. So when it comes down to ratcheting it down, I'll show you, it's, it's just as quick and simple. So I grab the anchor part of the strap, the buckle here, and I go down to my wheel chalk, put it in place. There, it's in place. Put it in the middle, roll out my strap, and come down here, put the buckle in. There we go. And then you leave a bit of slack here so that you can wrap it around the ratchet strap. I should show you that. When you ratchet this, you want to put a couple straps around this spool here. And that's what makes it lock in place. And that's it. It's that simple. It's secure. It's tight. And you don't have any extra strap flapping around in the wind here. All that extra strap is here on your roll. See that? And so far, I've been loving it. I mean, it's much better than Ericsson wheel straps for sure. Like they're fine. The Ericsson are fine, but these seem more clean to the point and easier to use. You see the Ericsson strap, you put it in place and then you put your uh, rest of your strap around your wheel and then you have to tighten it up and it, it works fine like I say, but sometimes I find this part here, you go to pull it around, around your wheel and put your buckle in and your buckle doesn't reach into the wheel strap. So you gotta take it off. Then you have to undo this a little bit and put your strap around your wheel, put your buckle into the wheel chalk to make sure it reaches in there, and then you can tighten it up. It doesn't happen often, maybe once every two trips, that happens to me, but it's, it's a nuisance and it takes time. The other great feature about the Strapino ratchet wheel straps and chocks, when you install your wheel chocks into your trailer, you get all the hardware, you get the bolts, washers, and locking nuts. Um, well, the only thing you don't get is a fat washer. You don't really need it, but you should get it because when you use a fat washer underneath, when you put your nut on or you put your fat washer on, then you put your nut on, that fat washer will prevent that nut being drawn into the wood of the bed of your trailer. The fat washer is extra support. But as I was saying, Ericsson does not supply any of the hardware, the bolts and nuts and washers. Strapino does, and that was a real game changer for me. Because when I installed my Ericsson wheel chocks, I had to go out and get the hardware at the local hardware store, and it cost me $60 Canadian. And that was two, two and a half years ago. So it's probably like $80 now. Again, I just wanted to show you these Strapino ratchet straps and the wheel chocks. I really enjoy them. They're much better than using the Ericsson. I recommend them, they're strong, they do the job. They have never come undone. It's secure to my trailer, and I don't have any extra strap flapping in the wind. I like that. 
Also installing the reel chocks is not a big deal. What you do is you put your side-by-side -side or ATV on your trailer, mark where you, like park it where you want it to sit. And then you put your wheel chocks in front of your tires, one behind the tires, grab a pencil, and you mark your holes that you need to drill to put the hardware in. And here you'll see holes where there is no bolts. That's because the frame of my trailer goes right under here. And I didn't want to drill into the frame. And you really only need four bolts for each wheel chock. So check them out below this video in the description. And I'll also pin a comment with links to Amazon where you can go check out these Strapino ratchet straps, retractable ratchet straps. And if you use the code FANATICAL, you'll get 10% off. Thanks for watching and be sure to leave a like on this video. Leave me a comment. I always get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again.